But here's what the pictures look like on a mouse that has mus muscular dystrophy. You can see those areas in the, <clears throat> in the yellow circles. That's simply abnormal regions of a muscle. The muscle should be uniform. This should look like a slice of ham because that's exactly what it is. This is an image through the thigh muscle of a mouse. And <clears throat> you can see those anomalous re regions and these are per tandem treated mice. And you can see those bright white, white spots have virtually disappeared. It really does look like a nice appetizing slice of ham, mouse ham, <laughs> on the right. But the important thing, if you have muscular dystrophy, you don't want those anomalous regions. You want to see clean looking, normal looking muscle. And it was reduced by 38%. Finally, this last paper, one I talked about at the last Elite Academy from Ohio State. And <clears throat> I realize you, some of you weren't there, but I'll summarize this one very briefly. Uh, Protendum blocks intimal hyperplasia. What is that? It's the thickening of a vessel wall. And this is in veins that are used to bypass clogged arteries in the heart. If you know someone who's had bypass surgery, the bypass means they take a vein out of your leg, they use it to bypass, to put new plumbing around your heart. Um, this study increased the antioxidant enzymes, decreased levels of superoxide, decreased lipid peroxidation. What does intimal hyperplasia look like? This would be a cross section through a healthy vein or a healthy artery. And it has the lumen, the pink spot in the middle is where the blood goes through. It's like the opening in a pipe. The vessel is composed of several layers. The innermost kind of yellow layer is labeled intima. And when you have intimal hyperplasia, it just means intimal overgrowth or thickening, you can see that that would partially occlude that pipe. <clears throat> That's not a good thing. And in real vessels, you can see the upper one is a freshly isolated vein from the leg that's going to be used to bypass the artery. The lower picture is that artery that's been subject, uh, sorry, that vein that's been subjected to oxidative stress. And you can see the wall has thickened, the lumen, the opening in that pipe is much, much smaller. And obviously the blood flow through that vessel is going to be constrained. Intimal hyperplasia, it's actually not a disease, it's something that is caused by physicians and surgeons doing procedures to keep your heart working for a bit longer. So if they do a bypass, you're in good shape immediately. And within a, a few months, you may feel like your old self, but that those graphs fail and they fail because of this process of intimal hyperplasia. If they do angioplasty, they put a catheter into your heart, put a stent, looks like a little cylinder of chicken wire that opens up by a balloon, can hold that clogged artery open. But they too fail, sometimes within months, due to the same process. The same thing can happen in the large vessels that take blood to your brain, the carotid arteries. They can be opened up, but within months or years, they start to occlude by this process. Protandum blocked the process. It didn't stop the disease, because it wasn't present during that. But in, in isolated organ culture, it could prevent this process of intimal hyperplasia. And finally, I want to remind you that the technology behind Protandum, the technology derived from these publications, that led to these publications, is protected by three United States patents issued in 2007, 2008, and 2009. So this is not a run-of-the-mill product off the shelf. This is something that is very different. Its bedrock is mainstream solid science, mainstream solid patents protecting this product, and it's a powerful thing that you're selling, and I hope all of you can take these tools and use them as you convince the people around you that Protandum is something they need. Thank you very much.